my nemesis, Bear Rock. I remember the last time I came out of here, there was a big swell that was left over from the tropical storm. Kind of fickle winds, and it seemed like I was just getting pushed down on Bear Rock, and I was trying to work the windward out of here. And it was uh, giving me conniptions. So under my lee, there's still, you can just see the breakers right where I'm pointing. There's still some ledges we got to get clear of, and then, uh, then we can fare away on our course. Well, as usual, a little rolly out here, but otherwise nice sailing. Hear that whistle buoy mooning. There's a fishing boat out here. And through the binos, I see a couple of sailboats once again going the other way. So I'm guessing they're all coming back from the Bedores. So as usual, I'm wrong way hairy here. morning of August 28th, 2024, and we're just rounding the, uh, where Canto is, the, uh, the north, the northeast point of, uh, Nova Scotia, and, uh, the wind came in as forecast, so she's comfortably canvassed with two reefs in the main and a reef staysail. We're beam reaching. We're going to be close reaching soon as we head toward, uh, we just have to get around some shoals up here and then we'll be up, uh, uh, then, then, then we can steer course for our shot. But, uh, we got to get around these, uh, we got to get around these reefs first. close haul. It'll be a close rage, which is, uh, which is not bad. Uh, this wind has really picked up, and I'm just about to make my turn into Arrowshot, the main harbor, and it'll be the turn downwind, so I'm going to go take in the reef stay, so, whew, almost got my feet wet there. downwind under the double reef main. So now I gotta bring her through a jibe, which is always fun in a lot of wind. It's blowing here. Pretty solid 20, 25, maybe some higher gusts. And uh, we're going downwind into a strange anchorage. That's always reassuring. Slowly sailing up in the main here. 
to get down to about 20 feet of water or so and drop. So things have calmed down. And looking across the harbor, I see the road and what looks like a landing. And Google says there's a co-op supermarket in town. And I could use some fresh groceries. So, however, from the landing to the grocery store is over a mile, so I'm going to need the bicycle. Woo, that water's cold. That'll keep it from floating away. Ouch, these have prickers on them. And away we go. back to the boat all the way over there got some nice fresh groceries wasn't cheap island prices but uh, a good little grocery store good selection fresh meat fruit all that well, it looks like maybe they're just uh, I don't think they're fishing they're just off on holiday maybe that dock is theirs it's a little picnic Indeed, I see the family on board the boat, and soon they're joined by other boats with families. Evidently, this is their weekend getaway spot. So we say goodbye to the lovely anchorage behind Jersey Man Island and the town of Airshot. Um, and going to sail around to the other side, to the northeast side of the island, and into Descous, uh, which supposedly there's a yacht club there, so there should be some facilities. I need to dump trash, and I'd like to fill my water jugs. And it is the 1st of September, 2024. Why, somebody's got his house right on that bluff there. I've seen that before and I just can't help but thinking in those winter gales that's got to be something. Up on the top of a bluff, gale force winds coming off the water. Yow! Yeah, coming up on Green Island here. I'm gonna pass just a little bit of it and then uh, we're gonna bear away just going up the uh, east coast of, uh, of Airshad Island. Um, so this breeze really filled in, had all that, well started off with a decent breeze and then uh, had light and variable and all this sloppy, sloppy swell that was wrapping around uh, Canto there. So that was kind of frustrating, but it, it's come in now. So I might have to put that reef back in the main, we'll see. Now, I would have to tack in, and that channel has a sharp dog leg, and I don't have an accurate chart. I um, mean, it just shows four foot in spots, and it doesn't really show where the channel is. 
so I am not going to risk going aground. I think I'm going to go on the other side of the tickle there, because I might be able then to dinghy over. Let's get my exercise in rowing, and then dinghy over to the yacht club. Uh, so we'll see. So this is the tickle right through here, and uh, the uh, Passage Yacht Club should be just right around the corner here. And we're anchored way out there. Probably could have anchored in closer, but oh well, get my exercise. And it looks like there should be enough water. It looks like this is near low tide, so there should be plenty of water to row back through. Just want to make sure of that, because if I have to row all the way out around this island, that's going to be that's going to be quite a bit of exercise. So this is Discoose. Mm, guessing that that building there is the sailing club. Quite inauspicious. Certainly a beautiful anchorage. Wish I had a better chart. I would have come in here. see any water hoses yet. Ah, there's one right there. Linux passage yacht club. I saw is there anybody here? It's open. Why well, this is just quite the view isn't it? the water tap and also the, uh, the trash bin and uh, just helped myself went up to the clubhouse there's nobody there um, so boy what a beautiful place There's just one other anchored cruising boat He came in yesterday. All the other boats here are local. So from my present position, it's only about five miles to St. Peter's and the lock that leads into the Bedora Lakes. But still, I have the problem, how am I going to get through the lock? Ever since the demise of Mr. Tahatsu early this summer, I've been back to just sail an oar. And I'll need power to get through that lock. So, hmm. Consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month. 